In this video, we're going to cover just sketching one simple object within isometric orientation. Specifically, we're going to be looking at one of the construction blocks, this cube shape. So we're going to start off with that, and hopefully this will help with your core training assignments. So either you can go through and you can print off graph paper, isometric graph paper at that, from the student version of the curriculum. You can also go into your engineering notebook that was given to you, and on the back pages you can go through and and uh, see all of those that grid that's there. So you can also sketch from within within that part. So as we go along, we can go ahead and we can start sketching an isometric. With this, in the student version of the curriculum here, what your students would be doing is they're going to go through and they're going to have these construction blocks. You're going to have some virtual ones, and if you have some available in your classroom or you do have some already, you can go through and sketch some of these. So what they would do is they would be measuring these, and then they would go through and be sketching them on isometric grid approximately to one-to-one -one scale. So as far as this goes, when you take a look, a lot of these cubes measure about an inch and an eighth here. And what I do is looking at your grid paper, one of these grid squares that you have like this, one of those, one of those lengths between the, between the points is 0.25 which can be kind of challenging for first-time isometric sketchers. So what I do is I tell them to go ahead and round down to one inch, and then that way we can do that. I'm going to start up here in this upper left-hand corner to sketch this block, to sketch the cube, because as we go on in future videos, I'm going to add some more uh, objects to this paper around. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with up here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and mark a starting point for my cube. Okay, one intersection. I'm going to go ahead and do so. So now, again, an inch and an eighth. So I'm going to go ahead and count for an inch. So one, two, three, four. That would give me an inch on my paper. Now, what I've done is I'm looking at drawing first just the front face. So the front face would look like this, but here's what's happened. In isometric orientation, you turn the front face, so then that way you can see it as well as the right side and the top. So what we've done is we just went through and we just drew in. So if I kind of match this up, we drew that line right there. Now I got to start looking at adding some height to that front face in order to make this happen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I can kind of connect them. So here I just made that square, just like sketching on regular grid paper, but the grid paper's kind of turned at an angle. So this is what I'm going to go through and work off of. Now all I have to do is, now that i got this front face, so I just got to draw back to go through and make it happen, and then connect up here at the tops and then on the back side. So here, again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That gives me an inch. Sometimes I like to use a nice drawing triangle or a straight edge just to help me maintain some nice straight lines. So here I can go off of each one of these and connect, and then make them connect on the back end. So this will go through and help with that. So again, some terminology. I always say this direction is the width, this direction is the depth, and the top to bottom is the height. So terminology to get used to as you go through and you start sketching with isometric. Length should be something I would eliminate from my vocabulary. In the curriculum they do talk about shading your sketches and indicating a light source. So usually the light source is kind of right here. It's kind of like almost behind the object. So then with that being the case it's above and behind it. So what I can do here is I can know that my front face is going to receive some shading, and it's going to get the darkest shade. So I'm going to kind of crosshatch, meaning I'm going to go in one direction, and then I'm going to go back over in an opposite direction to increase that contrast as I go along. And again, I might want to hit some of these corners and kind of fill that in. So it doesn't necessarily have to be real dark, but just dark enough to go through and be able to see a difference. On the right side, we'd see just a little bit of shading. So I go through and usually just go in one direction as I do so to kind of shade this in. And 
and that will go through. Top stays white because it sees a lot of sun. Red, uh, the right side goes through and gets just a little bit of gray. Front face gets the darkest. So this would complete one, and if you need to as well, you know, darken your edges a little bit so that way you can see the differences. Sometimes shading can do that, but it helps pull it off the paper. But this does complete one of the one of the shapes that you have to do for uh, core training, or at least gives you a tutorial of one, and then that way you are able to go through and apply your skills to some other construction blocks. Check out the next video. We're going to look at the wedge block and be able to go through and sketch that in isometric for any angled lines that you have in isometric orientation.